Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Home Free Alaska. This video is gonna be a little different from what we normally do. Well, no, it's not. We're always doing something. But this is specifically for the boys. And we just broke the little surprise to them yesterday. Have you guys figured it out yet? Yes. Treehouse. What is it? Treehouse. It's a treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, every soldier needs a fort, right? Yeah. Okay. You guys know when we bought this property, Parker had a dream of a tree fort, right? So we're building him a tree fort, an Alaskan standard tree fort. So Joe went with Lexi this morning and got a few supplies. We had most of everything we needed here on the property, but Joe needed some new some more screws and stuff. And we are gonna work on building this fantastic tree fort for the boys just in time for summer. They're always running around playing war, playing soldiers, playing whatever. And we're gonna try to make it really fun, have a ladder going up to this tree fort, maybe like a little rope swing coming down. I don't know, I have all these visions. But we thought we'd take you guys along for this video. And I know a lot of your kiddos watch the channel, so they will probably like this one. Just a little update on Lexi. She's doing fantastic. We went to the nearest town the other day and looked at some apartments with her and she actually just got approved for an apartment so she's only going to be with us here in the cabin for about another three weeks so I am cherishing that three weeks that I have with her My little sleeping beauty. She's taking a nap. So you guys know we have a very small cabin here in Alaska. Well, it's small for us compared to what we came from in Virginia. Our cabin is 576 square feet. So a lot of you have asked like, what did you do with Lexi? Where's Lexi staying? Obviously we do not have a guest room. So Joe and I got creative and used our Parker's Fort Magic pieces. You guys remember a while back, I think it was for Christmas, a sweet subscriber sent Parker a big Fort Magic kit so he can make forts and all kinds of stuff. Well, we essentially made her her own little room. <laughs> up in the loft definitely not ideal but it's temporary like I said but I just thought it was super funny how Joe got creative with the fort magic pieces and sheets and basically made her her own tent so she at least has a bed and a little space and some privacy all to herself for the time that she's here since we don't have a guest bedroom do you guys see it see all the dirt see the sunshine it only snowed while Joe was away. As soon as Joe got home with Lexi, the sun came out and literally all the snow is melting away. <laughs> the yard is muddy and mother nature was like, ha ha ha, gotcha Tina. Yeah, so that was great. That was probably our last snowstorm for the winter and it decided to happen when Joe was not home and that was fun, but we're still here. So we made it, we survived. What are you doing? What? Find a nail. I got some right there. <laughs> okay, it's like our redneck porch. Mm -hmm. See that? Put up our rocking chairs. Yeah? Came out here with some coffee the other day and, well, to be honest, the porch is a mess right now. Yeah, so, uh, 
we put them up on the trailer and it's just a perfect deck and we just sat out here and looked out over the clearing and drank our coffee. It's a beautiful day. So the location of the tree house is right next to the cabin. It is going to be, you know, we've got the chicken coop here, which we still need to build stairs, but it's gonna be right over there. I wanted the tree house to be close enough to the cabin so that if I'm inside doing whatever, laundry, dishes, I could keep a close eye on the boys. We came out yesterday, packed down a little bit of a trail leading up to the tree fort site. So we are doing basically a triangle shaped fort. The foundation is going to be built within these three birch trees here and uh, I mean it's going to be fairly large but we're going to do a triangle fort with a roof and a ladder and then a door and whatever else Joe and I decide to do along the way but this is the location. It's about 10 feet off the ground. I think it's going to be super fun, super cool. Who doesn't want a tree fort? And leave it to us to do another build in the snow, right? Can't wait for this stuff to melt or you'd never get anything done. It's just work with it. Okay. <laughs> it's not funny, Joe. You don't be perfect right now. I just that's what we did. We just You want me to hold it? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> it might be off a little bit. Okay. Bit. Why do you sigh so much? Huh? I'd like to see you do this and not make any noises. I'm just saying, do you have to sigh so much? Like I said. Do a pull up for Patricia. Nope. Come on. Do a pull up for Patricia. I can't do a pull up. Do it. Patricia, you know who you are, girl. How about I do a half pull up, half chin up? Okay. <sighs> There you go. Good boy. Why did that feel really dirty like I was pimping out my husband? A little deep, huh? Perfect, just close and then we'll go. Go, Joe. All right, we've got our triangle. It's the start of a good tree for it. Special, Joe. They're going to think it's the greatest thing in the world. They don't even have a fort right now. If I had a fort like this when I was a kid, I would have been so excited. This we put on our snowman. We gave him armpit hair. <laughs> this is awesome. How's that right there? 
So that sucks, eh? See if I can hold it with my lips. Hmm. Can't talk to you while I have them in, so that kind of sucks. Goatee. That? Oh, that's cute. I'm just trying to fit in with the culture today, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can do that now, right? We've thrown caution to the wind, along with ethics, morals, and common sense. <laughs> Call me Tony. Yeah, I like that. Call me Tony. Nice and sturdy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's doing a good job. Yeah. What do you think so far? I got I nothing. Like hang on that. You like it? We're gonna put a roof on it and everything. <laughs> Look at you hanging. You fit muscles. <laughs> I'm a monkey. You're a monkey. You're a cute little monkey.
That was not cut for you, Bradley. Hey. 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 That's not cut for you. I'm not throwing it. I'm sorry. You're so cute, Dolby. They're getting so big. Cameron's trick sugar. She's got like gold on her neck and stuff. Look at that hairdo. She got a hairdo. Look at that hairdo you got going on, girl. Aw. Oh, her golden smells good. What's her name, Callan? Sugar. Sugar. The chicks are doing awesome. They're so big, so fast. So our homemade DIY skylights in the chicken coop are working like a charm. You guys remember, we put these plastic, these greenhouse plastic pieces in the roof. So on days like today, when it's nice and sunny outside, it keeps it like a good 70 degrees in here, 75. And for these little guys, it's just perfect natural heat. little sleeping beauty no. you look beautiful no. look Lexi got herself some new Alaska kicks what look at that yeah they are cuter than mine lacrosse okay all oh, snap yeah. some little tighteners on the back yo <laughs> did you have a good nap yeah you pretty much slept uh, most of the day yeah uh -huh. I'm sick at like 3:30. what do you think of the treehouse Spring. Or the tree floor, I should say. <laughs> I think Dad's tired. <laughs> Kellen's got to figure out figure out how to get up the hole. <laughs> Art, oh, Joe's just gonna pull. Oh, how much you weigh, boy? You made it, Kellen. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Joe pulled you up, huh? Barely. Oh. What you I, think? I, I thought he was. I, I thought he was gonna drop me. Nah, oh, Joe yeah. wouldn't drop you, buddy. Almost. Just a muscle man, aren't you, Joe? Yeah. Okay, we got the floor in. Tomorrow we can work on the walls, okay? Yay. <laughs> Thank you.
Might need some sunglasses out here. Wow. Y'all, it is so sunny today. I mean, it's like, I just looked at the weather and it's 45 degrees right now, but when the sun is out like this, it feels way warmer than that. What a beautiful day. Welcome to day two of our epic Alaskan treehouse build. I'm gonna go catch up with Joe, see where he's at with this little project. Me and the boys just got done with school. We are working through a Charlotte's Web science unit curriculum, which has been a lot of fun. So we're reading through the chapter book of Charlotte's Web and doing all kinds of fun sheets, learning the anatomy of farm animals and all kinds of stuff. So that was really fun today. But now we're gonna go continue this treehouse, see if we can knock it out and get it done. Ah. Ah. to avoid bringing the power tools over here, <laughs> which would probably be a lot faster. Hey, looks pretty cool up here. <laughs> How in the world would you see a puppy? You can't see the puppy looking back like this, with his little butt cheeks and his tail, and his legs right here. I mean, maybe? I mean, he like farts out this, buff, this dust right here. Why couldn't it just be a cute puppy? Why does it have to have a fart dust? Oh. Really? Exactly right here too. I don't, I don't even see a puppy. Well, I mean, I guess maybe. Yeah, whatever. You've got little legs right here. You know what I see? I see a bunny rabbit. Idiot. No, I'm serious. This looks like a bunny rabbit. No, his little ear, his face, like nope. he's running. Nope. Yeah. Cute little bunny rabbit or a nasty little dog with a fart dust? What say you? Let me know in the comments. Your door on the side or through the floor? Through the floor. The floor. We have to climb up through it. Mm -hmm. Maybe Daddy can put like a door with hinges on it.
A lot of you asked if we were going to try our hand at tapping birch trees for their sap and uh, we decided to go ahead and give it a try. So we just did this tree maybe a week ago and um, as you can see we don't have much in there yet but it when we first put it on there for like the first week we weren't getting anything and then all of a sudden it started dripping. So that's kind of exciting. I have read a lot about birch sap being very good as far as vitamins, minerals, just high in electrolytes in general. So I don't think we will really turn this into any kind of syrup because you need a ton of birch sap in order to make syrup, but you can drink it as is and it's actually really good for you. So we're just trying our hand at it and if it works, maybe it's something that we'll continue to do every year and it'll be a regular staple for our family. Well, it's getting a little too difficult for Joe to build those frames for the walls up in the tree fort. So we're gonna go over, ooh, we're gonna go over to the front deck and we're gonna build them over there and then carry them up to the tree fort. Babe, seriously though, you could use this as a moose blind. Well, it overlooks the trail and the forest right here where the moose come through. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. Bradley just drank my coffee. A whole half cup, like. A whole half? A whole half. Joe, it's a whole half. It's not half of a half. It was a whole half. So it was half a cup. Yeah, but it was the whole half a cup. Not a quarter cup, it was a whole half, you know what I'm saying? I just don't see how he drank it without spilling it. He knocked the coffee cup over, but it was already gone. Like, did he turn his tongue into a straw? Come on. Huh? Look at you with that sunshine in your face. You look handsome. Are you excited about your tree fort? What's the first thing you're gonna do in here? Hmm? Soldiers. Soldiers, yeah? It's gonna be your fort where you can hide from the bad guys. like an Alcatraz fort, you know? When I was a little kid, we built stuff out of cardboard boxes and like, he's doing like beams and center poles and and stuff. This, this tree fort will be here for 
our grandchildren. Well, hey guys, good morning. Here we are, day three of our fort build, our tree fort. Is this not cute or what? The boys are so excited. Hopefully we'll have it done today. Hey guys, I do not like heights <laughs> at all. And like that ladder partially is like, it's in the snow really good, but it's in the snow. Like you never really know if you're like to the bottom or if you've just hit like a packed area of snow that's eventually gonna give way. So I was just like, you know, my legs were shaking a little bit, but we got that painted and I think I like that a lot better than the raw plywood. In fact, I know I do, it looks way better. So Joe is now currently working on the roof and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna get the roof on, like the metal roofing panels when he's done with the rafters. <laughs> we didn't really take that into consideration. Have you figured it out yet? No. Maybe we can just build the roof and then put it up there after it's built. Build it and then hoist it up there? Yeah. Oh. Joe, I don't know. You know, this is where things get dangerous, dangerous with Joe, because he just, he's, he figures things out as he goes, and I'm just kind of long for the ride. And communication with Joe is head nods and eyebrows for the most part. It's not a very vocal communicator, you know what I'm saying? 
I mean, I've been married to him for 24 years almost, so I can pretty much guess what he's thinking just by looking at him half the time. How's it going? What's up? Oh, nothing. Just having a little chat with our friends here. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. But uh, I did decide that the third piece of plywood that we have not put up yet on the other side of the tree house, I'm gonna stain it on the ground. I wish I had a roller. I could have this done in like two seconds. Oh, I'll appreciate it. concerned. Joe has a rope and I think an eye bolt. I think he thinks we're stronger than we are. What do you think, Lex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We've come this far. We can't not get it up there. Okay. 
as well. I mean, yeah, I, the left side might need to go up just a little bit, but I don't think it's enough to matter. Okay. All right, guys, so I think that was a little bit harder than all of us anticipated. There's two points that scared me the most. One was getting it up over because there was a point that it was just so heavy and it was just all up to brute strength to not lose it and have it go back over the edge on top of Joe. <laughs> and then the other time was getting it up on these four by four beams. It was just so heavy. And then we realized as we were putting it up there that really these are super tall and we didn't mean for them to be this tall. We should have cut these down a little bit. And what we're going to do now is we are putting in some two by fours just to support the roof and we're going to get a chainsaw and we're going to cut these four by fours pretty much in half and then bring that roof down a little bit because the idea was to have it look like you know like a military fort and have like just that little window all the way around not this huge gap that makes it look like a you know cotton candy vendor at a carnival the part that i'm concerned about is once he cuts the four by fours down i don't know his plan on how he's gonna lower the roof back down onto the four by four, unless he's going to take the supports out and do it one side at a time. I can help him, but I don't want to remove the supports and have the whole weight of the roof on him and I, again, that that's not going to work. And now we're like one man down. So I'll tell you what, these boys better play in this tree for it every day of their lives. <laughs> I don't like that. Are you sure you got it, Joe? Just a second. All the way. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, God. 
God, it's freaking cracking, Joe. It's fine. You can't take it out. Take it out the door. Like out, this? Out. Let's just do it and see what happens. Yeah, let's just do it and see what happens. Though. I like that uh, thought process. Oh, oh, oh. oh God, it's wobbly. I know. Joe, do you have it too? Yes, baby. <gasps> my arms are burning. Right, Joe, my arms are burning. I'll just hold it. Slide forward more. Or I could just pop this off for now. in here. Stabilize the roof. Some side two. So Joe's cutting some wood to support these sides. We'll come through after too with the grinder and get all these screws. Well we had thought we were gonna get the tree fort done today, but we had a little oopsie. The sun has officially gone down in about five minutes. It is 9.30 p.m. and it's still light out here in Alaska. Super excited about that, but we are getting ready to stop for the night. Joe's got all the supports up and I think really all that's left to do for the tree fort is tomorrow we need to put up that last piece of plywood that I stained today. And then we are going to be cutting a hole in the floor to make a door for the boys. And then we're gonna build a ladder for them to come up through the center of the tree fort. The hard part's over and I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm ready to go inside. It is cold and we've been out here working on this thing all day. It's time to go get something to eat.
Watch, it's gonna give you diarrhea. No. How was it? Good. What does it taste like? Water. Just water? Oh wow. What does it taste like, P? Water. Just water, nothing else? <laughs> it tastes like water with just a little dash of syrup. You can try it, Kellen? Sure. It tastes like water. Not bad? It kind of tastes like milk. Like milk? <laughs> tree milk? Oh, it's really cold. Came right out of the tree. Huh. It actually doesn't even have a flavor to me. It just tastes a little sweet. Wouldn't you agree? It's super cold, like ice cold water out of a tree, but it has a little tiny bit of sweetness to it. Hey, that's pretty good. As we make the finishing touches on this tree fort for the boys, I'm reminded of how blessed we are, not by the things we have, the money in our account, or even what we've accomplished in our lives, but rather by these little people that God has entrusted us with. Moving to Alaska in the middle of the woods, off-grid, wasn't just a dream of ours. It became a necessity. With the state of our cultural decline and the attack on children in today's society specifically, it became emergent that we bring our children to a place where they were not only safe, but provided the opportunity to flourish and grow on a godly foundation, free of negative influences, wicked agendas, and utter confusion. The Lord holds a very special place in His heart for these little ones, and those of us that do not protect them will be held accountable. It's not just a pleasure to raise them, it's a responsibility, one that we cannot escape, nor should we even try. We should embrace it with joy. Parenting is one of the hardest things we've ever done in our lives, but it's also our greatest accomplishment. This is not just a tree fort, it's a space for them to thrive, to use their imaginations, to get dirty and freely play as children should. We know too well childhood ends so quickly, doesn't it? Life will come soon enough. Heartache and trials are waiting around every corner. Let's let them be kids, innocent and pure as they light up the world with their smiles. Okay, Joe, can you? Is this enjoyable for you? Huh? I'm trying not to sink into the snow. We hit his toy and he goes and finds another one. Bradley, I don't want to play fetch. I'm serious. Take it. Oh. Go B, I'm not gonna throw it, no. Just never ending thing with you. <laughs> Why do you feel weird? I don't feel weird. Excuse you. Do not unzip my snow pants. Jomeo! Jomeo! Where far out thou, Jomeo? Can you just be normal? Well, don't do that. She has a thing for yeah. his armpits, too. She smells his armpits. It's a true thing, it's called pheromones. No, you're yeah. weird. No, his armpits smell delightful, especially after he's been working all day. He asked me, he was like, Does you, do you do this to James? I was like, absolutely not. You should try it sometime. Uh -huh. no. Every man has a distinct smell. Now let me tell you this, if dad had the nasty, dirty hair armpit smell, no. there ain't no way I'd be smelling yeah, that. James didn't smell like that either, but I just don't think I could, you know. He has like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's not a nasty smell, but it smells good. <laughs> Especially after he's been working hard. I could, if he walks by, I'm like, come here. <laughs> oh, you're, you're good, dude. Let me get those bits, baby. Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, God! Oh, God! Joe! Oh, 
Hurry up! Oh